In this video series, we're gonna be covering all things merino wool for travel. I'm Tom, the founder of Pack Hacker, and we're a team of frequent to perpetual travelers that do travel gear reviews, we share our travel tips and tricks, and we do guides just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. I've even spent a year and a half living out of one single 40 liter backpack with three merino t-shirts. We're going to be covering the benefits of merino wool for travel. We're gonna talk about a couple different clothing pieces and articles that you should consider. And lastly, we're gonna talk about how to care for your merino wool. This guide is also available in written format at packhacker.com and we'll be sure to keep that updated as we learn more about merino wool and the landscape changes. Let's jump right into this guide all about merino wool. So first of all, merino wool is soft and comfortable. Maybe when you think of traditional wool, you think of a sweater that your grandma knitted for you during the holiday season. It's definitely not like that. It's a lot softer and is very comfortable to the touch. Merino wool is naturally antimicrobial, and what that means is that it doesn't stink. So you can wear a merino wool t-shirt a bunch of different times between washes when comparing it to a traditional cotton t-shirt. Merino wool can absorb and retain about 30% of its weight in moisture, which is gonna be really great, let's say if you're working out on the road or headed for a hike in hotter weather. This fabric does a really great job at regulating your body temperature depending on what kind of climate that you're in. So if you're in a really warm climate, it's gonna keep you cool. If you're in a really cool climate, it's gonna help with some additional insulation and keep you warm, because science. Merino wool does have some natural elasticity to it, but companies that do want to add more will add things like lycra or spandex to their garments. Merino wool has a natural ultraviolet protection, so that means that a UPF of 40 in a merino wool garment is gonna block about 97% of those ultraviolet rays, whereas a cotton t-shirt, for instance, with around a UPF of five, is only gonna block about 20% of that. So you're definitely getting a lot of that benefit without using sunblock or any type of chemical creams to block those ultraviolet rays. Merino wool is biodegradable. Nothing lasts forever when it comes time to recycle your clothing. It's going to degrade a lot faster than say some garment made out of nylon or polyester or any other types of synthetic materials. It's pretty good for the earth. So how about merino wool versus other fabrics? Let's start with wool. When you think of wool, it's easy to think of something really itchy, a thick sweater, and something that's just generally not that comfortable to wear. Merino wool is a lot different. It is a lot softer, it's comfortable to the touch, and it feels a lot better to wear, even as a t-shirt, underwear, or socks. A lot of the other properties are gonna be similar. You're gonna have that antimicrobial properties, you're gonna have that wicking, and you're going to have all the benefits that come with regular wool. It's just gonna be a lot softer. So how about merino wool versus cotton? To start off with, merino wool comes from sheep, whereas cotton comes from plants. So that's definitely a key difference there. Cotton is generally gonna be more breathable than merino wool, depending on the you know, weight of the fabric used and what the specific garment is. However, cotton is also going to just absorb all of your sweat, which is gonna make it smell faster than merino wool. It's gonna get a lot heavier than a merino wool garment would. And generally, you're gonna to need to wash cotton a lot more when you're traveling. So unless you love spending your time in a laundromat, we'll chalk this up as a win for merino wool. There are a lot of people out there that prefer synthetic clothing for travel as well. And we're a big fan of that too. Again, this guide is all about merino wool kind of up to your personal preferences what you want to travel with between those two. What we will say about synthetics is that they tend to dry faster, even though merino wool has a super fast drying time already. But synthetics are less antimicrobial than merino wool for the most part. So with merino wool, it's a little bit lower maintenance. You're gonna be able to get more wears between washes. Again, your mileage may vary. It's totally up to you what you want to wear while you're traveling. Thanks for taking a look at our first video on merino wool. Be sure to stay tuned for the next video where we'll talk about some specific products for travel that are made of merino wool and some of the benefits that they give you when you're on the road. Thanks for checking it out. We'll see you in the next video.